My name is Andrew, and I want to tell you about uh, our events that we had at Halloween. Uh, so let's begin. I work in, at Wargaming Studio, and uh, I am a UX UI designer with nine years of experience in game industry, and last four years I work at Wargaming Kyiv. So, uh, I need to tell you that UX team at Wargaming, and especially at Wargaming Kyiv, works like a dedicated UX team. Uh, it's not an addition for game designers team. We not uh, implemented only decisions that make by game designers, and we uh, work less like an independent team. And we uh, create the best solutions together with game designers and with ourselves too, and with game developers. So please tell me who played World of Tanks. Oh, there's a lot of people, a lot of people here. So uh, for those one who didn't play, uh, it's a free-to-play, massively multiplayer online game that features mid uh, 20th century uh, era combat vehicles. Player so engage in team-based PvP battles with a variety of tanks from different nations. Uh, the game is 14 years on the market and have a huge uh, online uh, player base. So we have millions of people that play the game and uh, continue playing it now. And it's a very good uh, situation for a 14-year-old game. Um, what is the classic uh, gameplay of uh, World of Tanks? It's uh, 15 uh, versus 15 random players PvP battles. PvP is a player versus player. In terms of matchmaking, it is a random players. They uh, match in one battle and it can be very toxic uh, in terms of uh, different results. So, uh, 15 players will won this battle and 15 will lose. It is crucial for our next uh, elements that I will describe you. So we have special events in the game. Uh, this like Holiday Ops, Waffentrager, Frontline, uh, Mirny Series. I will tell you today about it. It's a Halloween events and on slot. Uh, maybe someone, some of you played uh, any special events that we had in the game. Okay, uh, who played Mirny? No one? Okay, so you'll like it and you, you'll mm, miss the time that you didn't play. So, main goals of special events are to attract and entertain players. Uh, why do we need special events in this game? Uh, we have players that play uh, this game for 14 years. Uh, we need to entertain them. We need to uh, woke up them. Uh, and PvP is very toxic uh, because, as I said, uh, some of people lose, some won. And uh, also, we have PvE events. It's like a player versus environment. Uh, it feels like holiday for our players and feels like uh, nice... Uh, entertainment and vacation uh, because you can uh, play cooperative with your friends. Uh, today I will tell you about Mirny and how it works and how it was and why it's blockbuster. I can tell that it is completely blockbuster. Uh, today will what we'll do today. It's like a trailer for our talk today. So uh, we'll look uh, how the story of Mirny events was developed and grow. Uh, we dive in our blockbuster story with real actors and real CGI and uh, a lot of uh, explosions and uh, mystics and mystery. Uh, we'll look at the details of UX and UI and uh, learn some useful things from that. Wargaming Kyiv was uh, the studio that uh, made the first PvE event in World of Tanks ever. Uh, 
it called uh, Dark Front. Uh, it has uh, very uh, nice and easy gameplay. It, lo it looks like that. So players need to uh, go on the map, uh, kill uh, the enemies, and collect the, uh, this dark green matter. Uh, and then they needed to bring this matter for such castle, castle like, like here. Uh, this event was my, our next event, Mirni 13, was based on gameplay of this event. Uh, it was nice, uh, play, player liked that uh, gameplay, and we wanted to use it in more epic and, uh, and more epic way. Uh, do you know Silent Hill uh, stories? Yes? Okay, so uh, we make a cooperation with the Silent Hill creators, with Masahiro Ito. He's a character artist and environment artist and concept artist of first three Silent Hill games. And also with Akira Yamaoka, who was a sound designer there and composer, and he make uh, some audio tracks for our event. Uh, this is how it looks like the Masahiro Ito concept, which is very creepy. Where it sound high, sound hillish, if I can tell like that. So uh, we use uh, these uh, concepts and make it more uh, nice for our game, not so creepy. Uh, so the story and the setting was based on the Silent Hill theme. It is it was technological. Uh, mystical catastrophes, uh, very foggy, very dark, and uh, very unknown. Uh, so how it looks like the hangar that we had. It uh, was, well, it has a lot of explosions and some, uh, something dark that's going on there. Uh, and now, uh, I know that you're all tired for, from this day. And uh, I will show you the first story trailer that we had on our event. Uh, it is, I call it, first part of Blockbuster. So let's watch it. Uh, can, can you please... Uh, uh, yes, play. Thank you. We entered Mirny 13. It was empty, barren. We could barely see anything in front of us. I gave the order to stick together. We were heading to the Magnus system. After an hour, we reached our target. We were there to measure the radiation. My guys were standing a bit farther back. A bright flash. The tanks started shaking. A powerful explosion. No, it's something else. The light went out. I checked up on my guys over the radio. Everyone was all right, but, but we were in some unknown place. What place? I, I don't know. Some town. It looked like Mirny, but it wasn't. I can't explain. What happened next? Other tanks. They appeared. Other tanks? Where from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't... I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know! What did you do? We fired at them. When we... ran out of shells, we panicked. We fell back. I got out alone. How? How did you get out? How did I... get out? Get out. Get out. Send in the next platoon. Oh, 
Okay. So, uh, I like this trailer a lot. So, <laughs> it's it's uh, I I can watch it again and again. It's not a problem. <laughs> so, uh, what did we do? So, we had a, a completely new 3D stand for our garage. Uh, it was completely new hangar uh, with the styled techniques and uh, vehicles that we had were modernized, modernized for our event. Uh, there was a com old, uh, well-known for players tanks, but modified and with skins in um, Mirny 13. Also, we had uh, commanders. Uh, these commanders uh, can produce coins, uh, event coins that you can uh, earn and then uh, spend in uh, in in, in uh, event shop uh, magazine or shop, uh, it has uh, enter point here. Also, we had player packs that you can buy for uh, with all uh, elements of event. If you don't want to play, you can buy it uh, in every time. Uh, it was styled uh, in uh, uh, that foggy and mystic style, like. Uh, like Silent Hill, but with uh, some post-Soviet uh, elements. I think it can be told like that. Uh, also, our uh, action phase and battle phase was styled, and we create completely new map for for that. Uh, we uh, the player need to go to the camps with enemies, uh, destroy them, and collect Miriam. And after that, they need to bring that Miriam to collectors and go to the next phase. So we had, uh, at first event, we had three phases that uh, was pretty hardcore for players. So it, uh, and also, they, it is a co cooperative event. Uh, players play uh, together against the AI. So uh, in that time, we had pretty nice AI and uh, players like it. It was hard, really hard. Uh, it was like how gameplay looks like. So the players bring that Miriam to uh, Magnus system, collector. It looks like that. Also, uh, we added uh, such thing like, uh, we call it testimonials. It was an element that uh, players can take in the action and uh, see how the story in Mirny began, what was uh, there, something, some uh, photographs or letters, uh, something like narrative and lore story. Uh, and the Mirny was an experiment in some way. And uh, when you create something new, you may have wrong assumption, assumptions. And also we had Two. Uh, our assumption was that players will try to play better, not to lose in a battle, uh, make teams with each other, and go hardcore. And we were completely wrong about that. Uh, players were crazy and mad about uh, our mechanic. Uh, so how we did it? We uh, wanted to player, if they lose the battle, they need to heal with a commander. And uh, also, we had a lot of time to wait if you, uh, if you lose, and to play again, you need to wait. Uh, and players were, were mad, they call it pay to lose, and uh, they don't like it a lot. <laughs> so, yes, uh, and what we do is we figure out that they don't like it its first day, and uh, we fix it. We, we completely fi we detached that uh, feature, uh, and players can play for free. Uh, and that fixed the story, because we also had boosters that uh, make, make producing and uh, producing coins in the event much more faster. Uh, and also the vehicles, premium vehicles that earn more coins. Uh, and overall, the first event was successful. 
uh, in terms of engagement, story, and revenue. Revenue was positive. Uh, this was, was really nice. We got millions of players in this event, and was a, it was a sign that experiment was successful, and we can make a sequel. Uh, so, uh, what we done with this all event series, and uh, especially with first? Uh, first of all, we fix the dates. We know that we will uh, make this uh, event on Halloween dates. It's the end of October. Uh, also, we make a map uh, and setting was fixed. Uh, we uh, it, it was the same, so the map and the setting of our event was the same in three events. Uh, also, our basic gameplay was fixed too. Uh, players need to collect matter from enemies, take it to the collector, move to another phase. Uh, enemies are harder and more medium is needed on each phase. Uh, that's why we had increase in difficulty and interest and challenge in every, every phase. Uh, also, we had a boss. Uh, we call it invulnerable or invincible, uh, immortal. So we had uh, three names for it. But as I remember, the main name it was immortal, uh, and he was the bo he was uh, uh, invincible all the first event. So players, everything they need to do is to run from it. So it was like a gameplay uh, booster for for emotions. So it was like pretty creepy and, and fun when you run out from it. So, the second part, we'll watch the next movie now. Uh, it calls Mirny Hope. Uh, it was much bigger, and I'll tell you about how it was there. Please uh, play. Okay. Our goal is to study the enemy and deter their advance. We must stop them breaking through our minds at any cost. We continue looking for a way out of the situation. Tank groups are being sent to Murney every day. Colonel, I've got... Not now, Hope. Each unit collects Miriam. With every new raid, we gain combat experience. The enemy has changed, but we're also becoming more experienced and angrier, and we understand them better. Not everyone returns. But this is our duty. Bearing ourselves, achieve total victory. The Immortal at 11 o'clock. What? How's that? Is this phase one? Is this phase one? Sir, I think we have a chance to destroy it. As I said, blockbuster. Uh, so, what changes we make in this event? Uh, we change metaplay completely from collecting event coins and exchange them for goods in the shop. We change it to complete quest and unlock parts of a story with the rewards. It was uh, our idea with game designers. We looked how players like testimonials from the previous state. 
uh, they really like it. It was nice narrative and lore stories, and we tried to make meta from it. So we'll try to make narrative as a reward. I will tell you more um, later. Also, we made a boss fight. Uh, our invulnerable, <laughs> invulnerable uh, become vulnerable. So. Uh, Immortal become mortal. So, the, and the story and lore of, of the world, we, we continued. So, it was like a, a next part. Uh, also, we make the uh, UI of the, uh, our hangar, of the garage. Uh, and we had a new main reward in our reward path. Uh, because our players like tanks, and as a reward, they like tanks too. Uh, we made a uh, new 3D skins for our tanks, and uh, our reward, King Tiger captured was in a skin in terms of uh, Mirny 2. So players need to collect keys, and uh, I will uh, stop uh, later about that. Uh, so we had three difficulties in our event. It uh, made uh, it, it, it were really different in terms of difficulty. So, uh, also uh, vehicles and so on. So it was like the previous event. Uh, that's how it looked like our uh, hangar here. And this is one of the styles. Uh, it looked like sound here. Uh, the testimonials that I talk, talk about uh, in the previous part. I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, what was the meta play? Uh, meta play was uh, players need to fix uh, and complete the first part of quest. Uh, it was a uh, hardcore quest inside the battle, so they need to uh, complete the phase two in uh, difficulty three. Uh, and also after that, they need to spend their keys to unlock the uh, part of the story. Uh, we tried to, we wanted uh, with our UX team to make not uh, only th uh, text and audio uh, elements, and we tried to uh, make the complete video story from, from our meta play, and we've done it. So we make a long um, movie that was uh, separated on different tasks, and it was the reward. Not only the, uh, some goods from random battles and overall uh, role of tanks, but it was uh, uh, little parts of the story. So uh, when players uh, fix and complete the first part, then he can decrypt uh, that part, and after that he received a, a short video, and now the story. Uh, that's uh, the look how, I'm sorry, that's the look uh, when people and players uh, f fix all the reward parts, they complete it, and they can uh, press play and watch all of the stories in one movie. Uh, this is how it looks like our uh, final re reward screen. Also, boss fight was look like that. He has two lives here, uh, and it was, com it was very hardcore, and it was like uh, very nice achievement for players when they kill the immortal. Uh, we added for our um, 3D model of the tank, added zones for, uh, for players to target, and this is the only ways, and uh, the, uh, the only ways to uh, bring damage to immortal. Uh, players like that event a lot. Uh, they, it was like hardcore and uh, very fun event. So you can read it. I can read it for you. So destroy and I'm a wreck until it's done. Uh, fun in platoon and very like the story. Uh, and they like the reward in King Tiger. And uh, uh, there was a beginning of our story, so the player uh, noticed that. So, and the, now I would 
tell, like to tell you about the third part of the story. It is the final part of the story arc of the Mirni. It is uh, the last part for now. Uh, and we try to... Uh, you will see the previous uh, actors and previous characters. Uh, and we try to make uh, addition from first and second part. Uh, I would like to press play, please. Mirni 13 has been affected by an unknown anomaly. We entered Mirni 13. It was empty, barren. We were heading to the Magnus system. At the moment, the town has been isolated from the outside world. All roads to it have been blocked. Suddenly there was a bright flash of light. We were in some unknown place. Other tanks, they appeared. We must stop them breaking through our lines at any cost. The Immortal is destroyed! I repeat, the Immortal is destroyed! Goodbye, Hope. I'm glad it's over. It is just the beginning. Hope! Where's Hope? I don't know. Where did she go? What's happened? The rift suddenly opened. Then the tanks started to appear. Lots of them. Hunters? Sentinels? What kind of tanks? No. Our tanks. We should stop her before it's too late. She activated Magnus. Hope, what are you doing? Near. Find hope. Okay. So, blockbuster, as I said. <laughs> uh, what we will uh, do here in the third event, we we make um, things that works good, works better. Uh, we fix any bugs and polish all UX and gameplay. Uh, we finish the story of the trickle and uh, make him play more fine and more hardcore. So we bring three different bosses, variety new enemies, tanks, uh, Alpha Hedgehog, for example, or uh, something uh, like new abilities. We have invisibility and so on. So a lot of that. Uh, this house looks like our hangar here. So this was animated, all of this part. Uh, a lot of things uh, in terms of performance and so on. So, uh, in terms of meta play, it was the same old event, uh, Mirny Hope, previous one. Uh, but in terms of polishing of UX and UI, it was much, be much better. So, we stylized even our battle button. Um, this like how it looks like all three events in terms in, in Hangar. Uh, I like them all, to be honest. It's like very different. It's like a first part of Terminator, more noir, more uh, start okay, uh, I think <laughs> we can tell it. And this like uh, third part. It's uh, a lot of money bring uh, was pushed pushed in inside. So. Uh, this is how it looks like our hangar and our uh, tanks with 3D styles. Uh, the meta play was much longer. It was 12 uh, elements here, and uh, we had some stylish, noisy effects for 
locked state of the MetaPlay. But the main uh, quest system was the previous one. So we, uh, the player need to complete the first phase, for example, and then to decrypt it. So it, was, it changed the effect uh, when you complete the first part. And when you complete overall, you receive the text, voiceovers, maybe videos, and so on. So, and uh, in this event, we had a main reward. It was uh, this nice tank. Uh, it's called Obsidian. It's a uh, tank Rosanov, if we're uh, talking about a uh, historical way. Uh, also, there's the all uh, reward path. Uh, this has looked like our victory screens. Uh, everything that I want to tell you about is that we try to tell a story not with story trailers, but with our UX, with our uh, nice elements, uh, maybe some polishing features. So players were crazy and like it. They, they, <laughs> they long, it was long awaited because uh, it. Uh, the mirror was skipped in 2022 uh, because of the war, uh, and it came out at uh, 2023. Uh, so, it's uh, like I said, people like it. It's like the best game uh, mode that they had, uh, and uh, they're really excited. So, it was the best. Uh, event in terms from Mirna series uh, in terms of all uh, elements that we had. Uh, what I would like to uh, tell you about lessons that we learned. Uh, if you make experiments, be ready to change a lot of things because it is experiment and it can be unsuccessful and it's normal. But uh, you need to <laughs> pay bills. Uh, listen to the players uh, and look what they like like and see how they interact with this uh, stuff that you create. Uh, also, uh, the collaboration of different departments is a key. Because we like the game, we like the event, we try to make the best, uh, and also uh, we, uh, in the first event, we had a sign uh, from QA not to add new features. So our development manager signed it, not to add new features because we, we can handle a lot of things that we wanted to do and we need to stop. Uh, ideas and uh, some um, decisions that we make will fluently, collaboratively uh, go between two or three departments that we had. Uh, so also, uh, if you have a successful event, Turn it into a blockbuster series. Make it better. Mm, try to make... Uh, because if players like it, it is a nice event. You can, you can make, from a ser make a series from it. And every new event will be cheaper, because if you create new settings, new maps, it costs a lot uh, of time, of money, of for everything, and it's a risk. So if you uh, make something like, so it's like a, a Terminator movies or something like that. It's like movies, uh, it has the same uh, reasons to make a franchise or series. Also, uh, our latest event was very nice, but we need to go further because uh, it is an old map, old gameplay, and we, try, we want to try something new. And we wanted to try a new map, new gameplay, uh, to make our ha players happier and to, pl <laughs> to play this event for ourselves too. Uh, so, uh, come to us at the end of October uh, and see what we will bring you at next Halloween, because we created something that I can tell you. Uh, so, come to us. Thanks you for your attention. Uh, feel free to connect with me and ask anything about team, about me, about UX. Uh, you can scan my QR code with LinkedIn or look at Pine. Thank you. So, I think, sir. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank, thank you very much. It was really uh, better movies than new parts of Star Wars. So uh, really, I enjoy it. Uh, so maybe uh, any of uh, you uh, have some questions about UI, UX, uh, about uh, fourth part, I don't know, uh, about Wargaming, about Andre, childhood, uh, anyway. Mm. Any questions? Uh, the question is, uh, you said that uh, your department uh, worked closely with the game design department and I'm a little bit confused um, how are you, like, not, how you separate your, um, the amount of job you made, because you said you made, like, uh, this uh, story and, uh, for example, which which depart department do it, or it was made in collaboration. So I just want to make it understand how you separate your job, I think. Uh, why do you want to separate the job? Okay, not separate. Uh, I mean, how you collaborate with game designers? So kind of like, which job you done, which job the game designers done? Where is the boundary uh, between yeah, yeah. Yeah. responsibility with, with, with uh, uh, of yeah. different uh, departments? Our game designers, um, work more on balance, okay. uh, work more on balance and on gameplay uh, and uh, with a high level of meta play. And uh, everything else uh, done by UX designers and monetization managers. Um, so uh, boundaries, boundaries are not so clear. Uh, but it, it, it there, there are <laughs> there are the boundaries. So um, the main uh, goal is to make a nice product and we don't count the nice ideas that have everything every, every department or every uh, worker uh, we try to make best from all of decisions so uh, we have a pretty nice horizontal structure so if maybe one of QA have nice idea we'll hear it and try to make best from it so we are pretty democratic in this way. So um, we don't have uh, strong borders in this term. If you want, you can try to make some from game design. And it can be maybe um, not so well decisions if you are not so experienced. But if you have experience, you uh, can uh, make some nice uh, things, you will make it. It were gaming, yes. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Uh, any more questions? Yes, yes, we have we have hand. Nice. Okay, so this was mainly an PVE event, and uh, there were many like those parts of the story to unlock. So the players need to uh, play many games. And did you do anything to make the gameplay mm, non-repeatable? Not, uh, not what? Not uh, repetitive. I sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Non-repetitive. No, non-repetitive. Uh, so we try to make. Uh, so we have a skill of our players that improving, uh, and we adding something more hardcore in in, in each event. So you can uh, fix, for example, first uh, three phases, complete first three phases very easy, and the last one will be hard for you. So, and also we had uh, three diffi diff different difficulties. So I can uh, show it to you one moment. Uh, if you want to play hard, you play on Nightmare difficulty. Uh, we have fine hard and nightmare. So uh, hard is very hard and nightmare it was completely hard. So uh, our players, by the way, our players have uh, gameplay of random battles that they have, and uh, because Mirny appears for two weeks at Halloween, uh, it is a new thing for them. Even the, if if they don't play this event for a year, so uh, if we talk the global system with random battles and PVE Mirny events, we have players that like to play this gameplay and they uh, so we, we have uh, different gameplay from random battles it is a PvE gameplay and we have hardcore 
part of this gameplay in our gameplay of PvE. So uh, it generates much more fun uh, that, uh, that we need. It is, it is very fun. So, and we balance the uh, gameplay to not be so uh, hardcore or softcore. So it is like balanced for medium player. And if you, uh, what, if you ask about some new things, we have abilities, uh, new abilities that uh, some of them are gameplay changers uh, and new enemies. So it's like a, uh, ordinary uh, gameplay ob objects that we have. So mm, maybe in next event we we'll make new map and it is like something new for our players because um, it generate a lot more new uh, tactics and strategies that we can make on this map. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you for your answer. And uh, we have still have time for more questions. If you have some, I don't know if you have. Uh, I have one. Okay. okay, it will be a last question. Okay. Uh, it's a really great job. Uh, I don't know how many people uh, include uh, in uh, these uh, uh, events. I don't know uh, how many um, days or months uh, you are working on these events. But my uh, question is not about it. Okay. You, you, you can tell okay. if you want, if, you, if it's not uh, under NDA. My question is about inspiration. Uh, where uh, you finding inspiration to make new parts of event, because uh, it's really uh, it's, re it's really simple to create uh, something one time, but mm -hmm. uh, create something better is really complicated, uh, as I uh, understand. Where uh, what what inspire you? Uh, where you find inspiration? Uh, I think that the key is the collaboration between the partners, because if uh, you know that one of your ideas will be heard and maybe implemented, you will to talk about it. So that's why uh, all of our workers uh, watch a lot of uh, movies, um, read books, and uh, when we come to in concept phase and discuss it, it is like, whoa, now I think, let's try. Oh, no, that's bullshit, that will not try ever. So uh, that's why uh, completely uh, and uh, our key is iteration. We had a lot of iteration. It's, we work on every Mirny for a year. So uh, when the Mirny over, we become to work on the new events. So it's like, it's a lot of amount of, of job or job. And we watch at analytics watch how players like some of elements, and we try to improve uh, these uh, things. Uh, and uh, when uh, we see the nice result, when we see the players like it, we can try uh, something new, and uh, uh, when we know our customer, we can uh, adapt our uh, stories for, for it. So if we're uh, talking about that, uh, in 2022, because of the war, we have a lot of, uh, a, a lo a lot of problems and uh, a small amount of resources. And we made a very fast uh, PvP Halloween event. It was about witches. Uh, and uh, it was nice, uh, especially in terms of the situations that we had. But uh, we saw that our players like deep things, deep stories, uh, rich stories, and uh, this was not so... Uh, a, a lot of these uh, comments that you saw today about Mirny, we had such comments at uh, that event. Uh, but we know that our players are uh, waiting for the Halloween, and we tried to make our best in uh, 2022 and made that uh, event. But uh, if we work on something, uh, we, we make a lot of effort. So if, if you uh, see how much work we uh, trash, uh, you'll be crazy. <laughs> yes. So uh, iterations, I think. It's like uh, something new uh, to learn, to watch, to consume, consume uh, in terms of media, and uh, to 
uh, iterate with uh, elements that you had. So, yes. Thank you very much for thank your you answer. Much. It's really cool to make something that people love. And uh, thank you for your uh, presentation today. Applause to our speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.